to be the last one in. 1,800 metres, they're all in, and they're racing away. Queen Britannia got a flyer to the inside, but will settle as well as Anne with an E goes up on the outside of it to pick up the lead. Explosive Bond, Bomber, Grigio, and Perform is just behind that. Then came Outer Dimension, racing about six lengths off the leader with Solo Diva up along her inside. And the back markers all rise as eight lengths cover them from first to last as they race away now towards the 1400 metre marker. And Anne with an E has got the advantage here by just over a length from Queen Britannia in second, the Graos's bomber Grigio. In behind that is Explosive Bond, the blue colours ahead of Perform up along the inside, further back to Outer Dimension, giving that leader six, seven length start with Solo Diva tucked away along the inside. And the back markers all rise. It's eight lengths first to last as they come down the side of the track with a thousand metres to run. It's still Anne with an E, a leader by a length here. Bomber Grigio is in second, Queen Britannia in third, then Explosive Bond and Perform. They race together. Five lengths to track down, two away to Outer Dimension dimension and solo diva he'll take off together and the back mockers all rise as they turn into the home straight now with just under 800 meters to go and with an e brought them for home from queen britannia and bomber grigio is quick to move up on their outside further back to perform and towards the outside explosive bond then came solo diva outer dimension still got six lengths to make up towards the outside the stickers come out now and further back to all rise 400 meters left to go an explosive bond has come through to hit the front solo diva down the inside is Anne with an E, Explosive Bond, and then came Outer Dimension, stole four lengths off the leader. Explosive Bond, the leader from Solo Diva. Along the inside, Anne with an E's fighting back, and then came Outer Dimension, still got three to find. It's Explosive Bond, Anne with an E, though, is coming back strongly, but Explosive Bond has the advantage. Explosive Bond goes on to beat Anne with an E. Outer Dimension just snuck into the PA there from Solo Diva, and in behind that perform. Still had a few reservations about her. She didn't pick it up when it was needed. She's still a lot to work on there, this daughter of Vercingetrix. Of course, she's related uh, to that uh, mighty, mighty stare. And uh, it's going to be a bit of argy-bargy in the finish. Uh, you can see there, Explosive Bond and Anne with an E has come across uh, to take issue with uh, the winner there. So I have no doubt that had uh, Anne with an E have got up to win here, there would have been uh, certainly something to think about over there. Right, so it's gone to number six, Explosive Bond, beating home number seven, and with an E will run back into that third position. That is related, of course, to Aragosta. Just couldn't remember the name for a moment. Related to Aragosta. Finishes back in third, does enough for the PA. Solo Devo's fourth. All right, good finish. A bit of argy bargy into the closing stages, but it goes to number six, Explosive Bond. Daughter of Fire away. Well done to Wesley Mowing. That was a good ride, nice and strong in the finish. And of course, to Paulie Match at Long Made continue for the yard. They're certainly banging them home left, right, and centre. To Mrs. Jace Chetty, Jagan Nair, and Travell and Pille. It's great to see some of the connections out here. Where's Top Right? Uh, nice and strong. I know it got a bit messy into the last 50, but I mean, you were always doing enough, and uh, she quickened up beautifully. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Brandon. Um, all credit goes to the filly. I mean, she got bumped a couple of times in the latter stages uh, from the horse that ran second. And, you know, she actually dug down deep. And she, the more contact that was being made to her, the, the more she actually fought on. So she dug down deep. She won a nice race. And uh, I hope that she's going to go on from here. Look, it's lovely to be getting opportunities from Pauli Matchett. I mean, the yard doing so well at the moment. Where's you're a man that works very hard in the morning. So I'm sure you're eternally grateful. Yes, definitely, Brendan. I think you summed it up. Um, you know, very grateful to be getting the opportunities from Mr. Matchett. Um, he, he puts me on when he's got a spare one or, you know, a couple that I've ridden previously. And I appreciate it. But uh, I appreciate all the support that I'm getting uh, from all the trainers. Um, I know it's the start of the season. A lot of boys are going for the championship, as always is. Uh, I don't think we will be able to compete for anything like that. But... Uh, We'd like to outdo our season last season and uh, we've got our goals that we're aiming towards and hopefully we can achieve them. Yeah, very well said, Wes. We talk about yards that are in good form. I mean, Heinrich van der Veste is in. Lovely to see them have that always bad hair day, run a good race or win a good race on Thursday. And then Jet Cats, one of your favourites also that uh, ran a cracker. What are you expecting in the last today? Uh, Brandon, you know what? Um, first run out the Maidens for uh, raining rubies. So um, it's taken her a while to actually notch up that Maiden win. 
But uh, I think she's quite decent. I think she's the type of filly that, with experience and with the win, she's grown in a little bit of confidence. So I'd include her maybe in the back end of quartets um, and give her each way a chance. Wes, all the best for the new season. I haven't seen you, obviously, but uh, we'll be behind you. Hopefully you get that support because you deserve it. Thank you very much, Brandon. I just want to say a big thanks once again to Mr. Matchett and to the owners. Thank you to all his patrons and well done to his yard, Jenna, uh, Sarah back at home. Um, Everyone, it's a big team effort and it's all going well. May it go from strength to strength. Well said, Wes. Well done. Thank you. There we go. That's Wesley Mowing. Great to see him back in the winner's box. Well done, Mr. Match. Good to see you again. Uh, we speaking quite often these days and long may it continue. That's right. You know, we we, we obviously grateful for every win we have and uh, it's nice to stand here with you. Thank you, As Mr. always, you're a great man. Thank yourself. you so much. Very and, kind um, of you. I used to have all the owners on course, uh, Trevlin and Jürgen and... And, uh, of course, my big friend, Jace Chet, is up for, uh, from Cape Town. He's here, but he, I don't know why he didn't make it down. I think he's Collecting got, the cash. I think he's run to collect the cash, or he's got gout, or he's, got, he's lame. Something's wrong. <laughs> but anyway, uh, nice to have my friend Jace. We've been friends for a long time, and, and I've known him for about 20 years. So it's nice to have a winner for Jace and, and, um, and all his friends up there. And uh, what else can I say? It's nice for the support from, for, from um, the owners and um, my World Sports betting sponsors. Thank you. Mr. Matcher, if you don't mind me asking, you've got quite a few runners. If you could just single maybe one or two out. Yeah, look, we've got the chances. Uh, it's, it's tough racing today, but the race, also in the next race has got an each-way chance. That's um, uh, Haslow Grande, and then later on, the rest have got place chances. Well done to you, Mr. Matchett. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Long may it continue. Uh, you'll take the 1,500 rand. I know that uh, Jenna will also be somewhere around. Uh, busy day for the Paulie Matchett team, and uh, they certainly deserve every bit of success that they're getting at the moment. Now, yeah, some good bunch of owners. Come a little bit closer. Uh, the big men are in town. I should have known. I wish I was out back because had I seen the big guys were in town, I probably would have put the lot. Well, we didn't have a big bet or anything. Uh, the one before this, we had a bet, unfortunately. Um, yeah, no, just to Trevlin and all the uh, partners, well, well done guys, uh, to match it in the yard, uh, well done. To, uh, we really didn't think uh, we were going to, uh, uh, we were about to say retire this one and match it pulls out the magic. Trevlin uh, had a massive op yesterday in his mouth, he pulled out a whole lot of teeth and all of that, but uh, we got him out of bed this morning to get here. Um, so yeah, well done to Trevlin. Uh, the boys are here, uh, Ryan and Shailen, uh, to enjoy this. Uh, we were, we got quite a few, and we were having such a bad run, and we thought, Jesus, but this game, uh, this is the, the way the game goes. Yeah. The highs and lows of the game. So hopefully this is the start to the, you know, to more to come. And uh, to well done to the Power 5 boys, our other partners. Hopefully some of our others will come home. And, uh, yeah, to the match at the yard, uh, pulling off a miracle. I mean, we, we, we were thought this was, wasn't going to do much for us. And really well done to them for, for um, bringing the best out in him. Yeah. Well done, sir. Good to see you. Trev, Nod, can I speak to you? Uh, yeah. No, it's so. Okay, so, okay. but, so, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing no. beats that excitement. Well done, well done explosive Trev. bond. And well done to Paul and Wesley Mowing for bringing it home. First winner in my colours, <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. you got some nice horses, Trev. Long may it continue for the new season. Uh, to you and your family and the rest of your owners. I know there's a few guys upstairs. Well played. Thank you, sir. There Thank we you. go. And Thanks. we've got something to help you. Smile, oh, Trev. Maybe that will help towards that operation that happened. <laughs> Seven and a half thousand rand. Thank you very much to all the winning connections. Explosive Bond, the daughter of Fire Away, goes on to win a great race at the sixth time of asking. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. That's the first leg of the place accumulator. If you did bank her out of dimension, done just enough. I think you've got JP Fundamava to thank for getting that horse up in the nick of time to run third. The pick six starts in race number four. That's the big one of the afternoon. Stay tuned. They're still racing from the Western Cape as well.